Hey guys, welcome to Arctic. So in this video, we'll talk about visibility mode. Now basically, while defining, while deriving classes, we use visibility mode because it tells the compiler that in which way we are deriving the base class. So there are three ways, you know that public, uh, private, and protected. So it will control the availability of inherited base members. Okay, now we have seen access specifiers which controls the access of members within a class and visibility mode controls the access uh, while inheriting the members. Now first we will see public visibility mode. So as you know you can, we can only access the protected members and public members of the base class. We cannot access the private members of the base class. Now in public derivation the public members of the base class will become public members of the new class that is the derived class and, and the protected members of the base class will become protected members of the new class. So here you can see that the pu in public derivation there is no change in the access specifiers for the inherited members that is public will become public in the new class and the uh, protected members will become protected in the new class. So here we have the diagram in this case we have a class super here which is the base class and we have class sub here which is the new class. Now here we have private section public and this section and in this we have these three sections. Now after inheritance the public member of this class will become public member of this new class. So you can see here, here is y and display. Here is from this we are we are getting y and display here. And the same way, the protected members of this base class will become protected members of this new class. So there is no change in the access specifiers of the members. Now there is no need to redefine the inherited members in the new class. You can you you can use the members of the base class directly there is no need to define it again in the new class ok now we will see the private visibility mode now in this we can only inherit the public and protected members and this derivation is privately now in this the public members and the protected members will become the private members of the new class now the new the members that, has, that are inherited can be accessed only by the member functions of the new class because these members which are inherited will become private members and private members can only access by the can can only be accessed by the member functions of this class okay now as the members are becoming private members of the new class therefore these cannot be inherited further because we cannot inherit the private members of any class so here is the example here we have same classes same members so here our public will become public and this protected will become private of this new class so you can see that these two are going in the private section of the new class now in the same way in the protected visibility mode these two members that will become protected members of this new class now every year we have a question for finding the size of the derived class object now in this case to find the size of the derived class object we'll do the addition and we'll add the size of the base class including the mem private members okay so size of the base class plus size of the members of the derived class obviously okay, so you, you will add the size of the base class including private members plus size of the members of its own class therefore this is the size of the derived class object so thanks for watching and do let me know your doubts and queries in the comment section below